everybody, and welcome back. And yes, we are at it again. All right, and people are asking, where's Jesse? Well, I told him to go out, go get some Funyuns or something because I finally like him. So don't worry about that. But today, we're going to show you guys how to make fire potions in Minecraft. And again, not the standard way, but the Walter White way. So let's get started, all right? First thing you're going to need, pretty straightforward, is magma cream, okay? You get these from magma cubes in the nether when you kill them. Again, this rate is uh, the drop rate of this will increase when you use fortune swords. Now, you can also make magma cream, all right? And you can use do that by doing blaze powder, okay? And slime balls. Now, you get blaze powder by taking blaze rods from killing blazes, all right? And you get two blaze powder from this when you put it in a crafting table, all right? Now, here is a chest representation of just that. You got water potions, nether wart. All right, it's going to get your awkward potions, use your magma cream, make your fire potions of three minutes. All right, and then here's also how to make the magma cream using blaze powder and slime. Either way, and you'll get magma cream, all right? Now, I believe the actual recipe is like that, if I remember correctly. I don't think it really matters, though. All right, and now you use redstone to increase the time. Now, you guys must be wondering, but, well, cool, cool. what about glowstone? Well, it's pretty, pretty simple, okay? You cannot use glowstone. To make a fire potion because if you think about it, it kind of makes sense all right you can't double your fire resistance you're either fire resistant or you're not fire resistant so glowstone has no factor in the making of fire potions all right guys all right and here's a representation of how to make potions from the scratch water bottles nether wart again pretty straightforward get your awkward potions drop in your magma cream or we can well let's not do that <laughs> all right, and you get fire potions, all right, and we're going to put in redstone, all right, and you're going to get uh, eight-minute long fire-resistant potions that you drink. Now, again, if we put in glowstone, nothing's going to happen, all right, but if we put in gunpowder, we're going to get fire-resistant splash potions, which are awesome if you panic and you fall in lava. Let me tell you, you will, it will save your life. So if you're strip mining, all right, or you're exploring the nether, Always you should have a splash potion of fire resistance on you because it will save your life. Trust me, all right? And again, you can increase the time on this to six minutes if you use redstone. You cannot use glowstone. I cannot stress that enough, all right? As always, guys, I hope you found this very, very informative. And any like subscriptions are greatly appreciated. And I hope the series is coming along nicely. I hope everyone's finding it useful. As always, guys, stay unstoppable out there.